Hello and welcome to the final nine of the 2024 Dynamic Discs Open presented by Dynamic Discs. We are at Champions Landing and we are in for some exciting golf. A tight race here. Missy Gannon in the lead, but Lisa Fagus, Holland Hanley right behind her. Emily Weatherman putting a good run at it as well. Uh, some weather in the back and um, <laughs> guess who we are. I'm Erica Sinchcomb. <laughs> I'm not so awkward with your two hockey. Honk. <laughs> we hate weather in the back, but that is what we have today, unfortunately. Lisa Fake is wrapping out her front nine with an eight, which is a bummer. Ouch. Yeah, putting her down to a tie for fourth and not quite out of contention, but not necessarily in the mix as well. I don't know, four strokes? Yeah, it's I not know. That much. I know the back nine is rough yeah. too. So we will uh, see what happens starting out with this very challenging hole 10. Yeah, it's a par four, 585 feet. Uh, there is OB on the left that comes into play. It, you can kind of safely swing a hyzer out, not bite off too much distance, just playing for par. But if you want to get aggressive down the tunnel, that's the way to get a birdie that we've seen very few None? <laughs> Very few. <laughs> um, <laughs> the OV is so close on the left. It's inside the circle um, on the left and behind the basket. There's one large tree in the way on the approach. And as we said on the back nine, on hole nine, you re or eight and nine, you really started to feel the wind. And you feel it again here, especially in the second shot. We've seen two birdies every day on oh. this one. That was a really good shot from Missy. It does catch the one tree you have to beat and get the really bad kick to the right. It's gonna be a tough scramble from over there. Haley with a really solid round in solo second right now and a good tee shot here. The safe play here is to just bail out left, but then it takes birdie completely out of play. So you need to flip something up and have it push pretty straight, ideally not finishing left because it also eliminates the birdie play by being stuck behind a wall of trees. The second shot's so weird because you're throwing downhill then back uphill underneath the tree limbs. Yeah, it's very weird. And you have to, it's, if you can get far enough down, it makes it just an uphill shot, but it's so hard to get that far. Yeah. Lisa with a decent shot and good ground play here. Missy, not totally out of position for the par. Don't get me wrong, this is not easy, but she at least has a line to get down there. And she's going to be flirting with that line of trees. Here's the classic down and up shot that Erica was talking about. The old swoop. Yep, right at an OB area. Lisa is not trying anything too crazy. Holland looks like she is, though. Oh, yeah. Got to. Coming off a couple of bogeys here. Holland getting a lot of birdies, but... Oh, oh, oh. Just outside the circle. But definitely some uh, unforced errors from Holland. That's great on this hole. Only three people got to circle one in regulation. Only 13 to circle two. Haley in circle two. Behind the tree, though, it looks like. Missy lined up with the gap almost perfectly. She has to throw a sharp, spiking hyzer. She is also going to be playing with that huge tree. In danger of her first bogey of the day. And you can see with that shot that the rain is coming down. It's not pouring, but it's enough to just make you a little bit miserable and chilly. Yeah, you got to cover it. Keep your disc covered. Haley, long look for birdie here. Leaves it low. It's all in inside. I think so. Ah, leaves it low as well. Missy to rescue a par. First putting mistake we've seen all day from Missy. If you didn't watch the front nine, you psychopaths, she has been putting really well. The rest of the weekend, though, it has been very unmissy like. Lisa leaves that one a little bit left side, but it does 
ring around the basket for a par. Even though there were only two birdies, 62% of the field getting par, so a ton of bogeys. Uh, Virginia Polkinghorn and Maria Oliva got the threes. Big ups. Virginia's, I think, 15, newer mm -hmm. to the game. That's a really cool birdie. A junior world champion, I believe multi-time junior world champion. And I think uh, advanced women's uh, USWDGC as well, champion. Haley King gonna move into a tie for first after that bogey from Missy Gannon. And the first of two really difficult par threes. This one's 316 feet, plays farther than that because of the uphill nature and the tight gap. It forces you to throw kind of on a pure hyzer line the whole way. Even though this distance, a lot of FPO players are wanting to be able to throw a flex line and get that big distance. There was a tiny bit of left to right crosswind here, just enough to make you think about that OB line on the right side. This was a slippery tee pad. You can see Haley slip here. Missy literally put it in her disc list, very slippery. Uh, it's hard to attack when you know the risks there of slipping. Yeah, we've struggled with slippery tee pads all year long. Lots of wet conditions. You can see Holland choosing not to drive through her front foot there, fluffing. But being in that left side is fine. You can throw an approach. Let's see how aggressive Lisa wants to get. Solid shot, probably looking at a circle two putt. Typical on this hole. Yeah, uh, five people got to circle one in regulation, 19 to circle two, a little lower than yesterday. I see you're gonna be inside challenging those trees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did that so many times today on the back nine. <laughs> Just kick the tee pad like it's going to help. <laughs> Make you feel a little bit better, maybe. Yeah. Dumb concrete. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Is Holland trying to run that? <laughs> it sure looked like it. You see in a reverse patent pending here. Just chipping one up, looking for the skip. She's pretty close. This is Lisa. Lisa's bread oh. and butter. Great run. Haley for a birdie. Leaves it high. Missy from about 23 feet. No problem. There were only six birdies today. Two were putts from circle two. Oh. Holland makes good on her par putt. And kind of, kind of typical on this one. A weirdly hard 316 feet. Boy, they are good at making them look easy on paper and hard in real life. Mm -hmm. Still a tie at the top with a round of pars here. Lisa and Holland still tied for fourth Emily Weatherman. Four down on the round through 12, hanging on to solo third. And you can see everyone really just cherishing those birdies in the first <laughs> six holes. Protecting them yeah. from the horrors of <laughs> the back. Yeah. <laughs> hole 12 is a par three, 353 feet. Weirdly, I think easier to reach than the hole we just played. OB string line on the right, OB cart path on the left. Some low hanging branches and some trees in the way off the tee make it look really difficult. Um, it's, it's gettable, you usually need a big skip. Um, we did have seen Haley do this before. It's not a typical play, but she has the power to get there on the sidearm. She's gonna land just short after catching a branch. Haley, one of the few competitors choosing that route, it is so much 
distance to get there. Holland opting for the backhand. She's pushing the ceiling about as much as you can and gets through successfully. And Holland with that much power still in circle two. Yeah, you really have to push the right side and or the ceiling to get all the way there. Or keep it nice and low and Ooh. work the ground play. Lisa getting pretty lucky there after throwing it into the right side. Missy keeping this Zeus nice and low, getting some ground play, but going to come up pretty well short also. Maybe just a circle two. Solid approach from Lisa there. Holland with a soft bid on the elevated basket. And ooh, that looks good. It comes up just a little bit short. Ailey just going to lay up. Only four people got to circle one in regulation. 17 got to circle two in regulation. Another big jump, kind of classic champion's landing course. Oh, Haley not going to, or uh, sorry, Missy not going to run it either. There were only four birdies today. Atlanta Kruger absolutely parked it. She was on my card. It was such a good shot. Emma Arp, Emily Beach, and Katie Belty. Emma was on my card. It was also pretty parked. Looking like another round of pars out here. You say that and then you panic that they're going to miss the, <laughs> the short one. Yeah. Some tap ins as Eric and I fly by in the background. <laughs> Just checking out the scene. You know, I try to leave it so I don't know what happens, but sometimes you just, you got to know. It's such a tight battle out there. Quick flyby. What could it hurt? Yeah. Haley King in the tie for the lead with Missy Gannon. Hole 13. No one goes this way. <laughs> this is all hazard. Most people are going to go around the left hand side. They're avoiding, trying to avoid that hazard line on the right. There's an out of bounds line all the way on the left hand side. There's one huge guardian tree bush thing that you ideally want to avoid so that your second shot can be a little bit more open. But these are, this is a very technical par for a two shot hole that is very demanding placement shots for both. And this is a shot that nobody else throws, that Haley has thrown every day. And she just keeps getting better at it. Yeah, she sure does. That's monstrous. In a cool way. Holland with the sidearm, which is a great play on this hole. Just trying to line it up to the gap to make it easy to approach for the birdie on the next shot. That looks good. Yeah, the more right you can be, the better. But again, that, that hazard line can come into play pretty quickly. Quicker than you think, it turns out. <laughs> Lisa and Holland with some great looking spike shots. Missy going for the backhand, but a more normal human backhand than what Haley did. And she's unfortunately mm. going to find the heart of the tree. I think she's just past it, though. She might have something. Holland set up really well for this shot, and she's one of the competitors in the field that has this distance where she can throw this very low, powerful forehand 
Lisa going to show us her sidearm. Haven't really seen her throw that much this round. She definitely has it, as you can see here. Gets inside the circle nicely. A nice little roll, too. Lisa hasn't had a birdie in a hot minute, so it's nice to see her in position there. Missy trying for the sidearm from the weird angle under the tree. She force turns it, doesn't have enough time for it to come back, but she'll have a long look for birdie still. Haley with the opportunity to take the lead, leaves that one really low, but she will have a chance for a birdie. A little bit of a nervy shot there from Haley. She wants it. Or maybe it. a slip, you know, yeah. like there's, the discs are wet. You never know. Haley from just outside the circle to try to take the lead over Missy. And going to have a comebacker. Mm. Wow, not how I saw that going. Me neither. Dang. After such a great tee shot, Missy going to be the one to take the lead with just a par. Lisa going to card her first birdie in a while. Holland just a little tap in for her birdie. There was only seven on the day. Lisa and Holland now just one stroke back of Haley. It's wild. So tight. And the next few holes are insane. Like really anything can happen. Which is something that we say sometimes to make you guys feel like there's drama, but it's really true today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Emily, on the next hole, chase card check-in, she goes middle gap. No one does that, but she does, and she does it really well. Yeah, it's really hard to do that. She's going to go out in a round with a nice backhand turnover here. Checks up just before that one guardian tree in the middle. That isn't a surprisingly good. Oh, she's past She's it. Yeah, she is a great shot. Huge. And she's probably, what, not 300 maybe? Maybe a little less? Yeah, I think 300's right. Um, and it's a little uphill as well. Yeah. Yeah, definitely plays a little farther, and that was great. If you crest that hill, you are sitting in a great position. She's so close for her birdie. Really hard to do that last blind approach shot. Approach drive, really, for most of us. And that's going to put Emily up into a tie for second wow. with Haley King, who just bogeyed. Now she's got the hot round. Crazy. Continuing to stack up birdies and keep it clean. Hole 14, par 5, 893. Madison is correct. Not very many people take that center gap that we saw Emma take. You see left side sidearms. You see right side hyzers. You see all sorts of stuff. There's OB left and right. Um, you don't really play down the center on this one. You play either all the way on the left side or all the way on the right side. The right has more trouble but um the whole fairway slopes kind of from right to left so i think the left side's easier to find that out of bounds a little bit um as we saw on the approach that golf green comes into play the pin tucked behind a hill quite a few trees in the way first things first let's just get out of the gap harder than it looks holland looking like she was going for that left gap whereas in the past we've seen her go out and around all of the trees in this big gap that we see lisa lining up I like that gap. That's the one that I take, but it, you do really have to put some stink on it to get enough distance to be able to get, go for the birdie. Mm -hmm. Lisa getting a little extra flair at the end. Friendly. Yeah, I like that gap too. It's the safest, but I have a hard time getting enough distance to attack for birdie going that way. Can't all be big arms like you, man. <laughs> Missy taking kind of the hyzer gap on the backhand. She's going to be likely playing down the right side, but you never know. You can do all sorts of crazy stuff on this one. Haley knows she has an advantage here with distance on this hole to be able to set herself up for a birdie. She opts to go sidearm off the tee. She lands a little bit more right and 
Maybe she's trying to go uh, up the right side on her second shot. Maybe. Or she can just go another big sidearm. Yeah. That was, I mean, that was a huge tee shot. Holland forced to go around the bush and go up the middle, and mm. those tree branches are just not nice. She's going to be knocked down right in the middle and out of position for the birdie. Yep. Missy going to go along the right side, it looks like. Um, this way it looks like there's a lot of danger, but you're fading away from the OB line. And as long as you're not right on that dumb little tree, you're fine. <laughs> Sounds like you've never been there. <laughs> not this year. <laughs> Lisa going backhand on the second. Doesn't look like she's trying to go crazy here. Yeah, it's really easy to go out of bounds on this shot if you have an overstable disc because that part of the fairway is pretty hard pan. And as I said, sloped towards the OB. Haley going to go up Whoa. the middle. Whoa. We saw her hit those branches yesterday. Today she is underneath them, and that was a monster forehand. That was. She's up by that big tree. Hopefully an easy birdie. We want the drama. Mm -hmm. We demand it. Holland forced to put this hole into smaller pieces here. She is right up against the out of bounds brick wall. But safe. Mm -hmm. Lisa's third, probably farther than we just saw Emma throw. Yeah, I would say about 330 mm -hmm. uphill. <clears throat> and oh. she's good for it. Yeah, she is. Sets up well for Lisa's flex shot game. Man, so nice to have a drop in on this one. Missy keeping it low to get underneath those tree branches and it's just not enough to get all the way to the green. Mm, can see her frustrated with that one. Haley with a slow speed disc, she's gonna go over the out of bounds green. And no complaints here. <gasps> Oh, man, for a second. Yeah. Leaves it about 20 feet for a birdie. Holland's fourth. A little bit of a blind approach. I, I think she can see the flag stick, and that's solid. So good. Such great touch. Missy from outside circle two, probably 80-ish feet away, running it. Gonna be a par. Haley to tie it up again. Yes. Nice. That is huge. There was only six birdies on hole 14 today. Only six people getting to circle one in regulation. Colin recovering well after hitting the early tree. It's a really impressive par save. But running out of time to catch the leaders here. Still two strokes back of both Haley and Missy. Lisa going to keep pace moving to five down with that tap in birdie. Only one stroke back of the leaders. Whew. Exciting. And we still don't forget about Emily Weatherman, too, in that tie for third with Lisa. I only think about her on the hole previews. <laughs> yeah. This hole. <laughs> hole 15. It's only 355 feet. It should be easy, but even just the slightest amount of wind can change the angle of your disc, and the OB push, pinches in as you get close to the basket. It's really difficult to give your disc enough angle to get all the way there and not skip out of bounds left or accidentally rip one over and um, find out of bounds on the right hand side. You have to throw a max distance shot or most of the competitors do in the field. Kind of a slight headwind today. Um, did you say the drop zone, it's a mandatory drop zone? Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think I did, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, I did. It's teamwork. <laughs> We had, did we say left to right wind right on this one today? Um, head left, right. Yeah. Depends when you came through. Right to left. Yeah. It was, it was a little changey, but it was very light. So you weren't too worried about it. 
This is a pretty classic circle two hole. Only seven people got to circle one and 27 got to circle two. Yeah, Lisa leaves hers well short. Haley gets nearly to circle one. She'll have a putt. Holland has a big advantage on this hole by not having to throw super hard. She comes up a little bit short. Missy, as that rain comes down. Classic circle two look. Lisa up first has this tree in the way. She's just on the edge of circle two. Gives it a run. Missy trying to put the pressure on Haley here. Ooh, really good bid. Holland with an open look for her birdie. Yeah. yeah. Good one. Awesome. Getting some momentum, getting a slow mez. That is huge. Yeah. <laughs> there were nine birdies on this hole today, and four of them were circle two makes. One of them from circle three, Deanne Carey, with a little bit of a throw in. Nice. Heck yeah. Haley for the solo lead. Mm. I hate when there's a tree to the right and then you still miss right. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are you doing? What are we doing? Haley just not quite able to convert on the green right now. Good on the comebacker, though. Oh boy, still tied up at the top. Holland gonna tie it up with Lisa there, both one stroke back. Don't forget about Emily Weatherman. Island whole time. Yep, and even though there was only a little bit of left to right wind, you're still nervous coming up to this hole. Let's watch Emily. She's going for it. Yeah, she is. Mm, does not make it. Mandatory drop zone that nobody runs. Nope, just to pitch up. I feel like there is like a 30-foot circle right in front of this island that every FPO player lands it in today. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone, but a lot of them. There was 30 out-of-bound strokes. Oh, Yeah. Ouch. I believe only s six people making the island today. Even though it was calm conditions, it's the tee pad was so, it's so slippery. Really slippery. It's hard to commit to the shot. Here it is, hole 16. Emily Weatherman didn't make it. We'll see if our lead card can. Such a close race. It's 320 feet. You have to carry 318 to land safely. There is a backboard if you want to try to power something down there. The trees on the right block the hyzer. Uh, play. It's really hard to get a hyzer flip there. You really need a tight flexing line generally to get there or just so much power um, on like a straight pushing shot like this. Yeah, you can see Holland not quite able to drive through the front foot, but mm, oh my so goodness. So close. It's, <laughs> it's infuriating, honestly. This hole can be, especially with the slippery conditions. It is tough. And we haven't seen this yet on lead card. There is an, a safe area on the right where you can play for par. Um, it's a really tricky play. The main advantage I would say is if once you throw from there, you go from where it last goes OB. So if you get it close on the next shot uh, and it's OB, you don't have to go to the drop zone, but it can turn into a double bogey pretty quickly if you're not careful. We saw that from Owen on day one. Haley definitely has the distance to get there. Looks good. Yeah, playing the hyzer line. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. That's a heartbreaker. On the island for a full second. Like, what are you going to do? 
Jeez. I'd rather just lake it than it land safe and <laughs> plop backwards over yes. here. Yes. <laughs> Uh, is it? No. Oh my. So close. So close. All of them. And we don't really love this hole for FPO. I don't know if you can tell why. Yeah. In absolutely calm conditions with no rain, it's it's like fine. Eh. Not great. Oh wow. Great upshot from Lisa. That is way harder than it looks. Yes, it is. It's super technical. She Pretty. keeps it nice and close for the putt as well. Yeah. And gonna take a stroke potentially on her competitors which is pretty crazy with the layup the layup that nobody claps for <laughs> nobody it's sad because no one wants to do it and then no one congratulates you either so you're yeah. just thankless job yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everyone just laying up for bogey there's a pretty nice little crowd here. I learned they call themselves the Mingos, oh, not the Flamingos. We love that. Just the Mingos. They were all pink. A little bit of wind picking up, just the tiniest bit. Though. Yes, Lisa. That's so clutch. Cheer more. Cheer more for her par. <laughs> there was only three birdies and only five pars. Sorry, six pars. I love that Lisa is going to tie the leaders with a par. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this plate is the third most difficult hole of the day. I mean, I don't actually like it because I don't like this hole. Yeah. I, I liked it when it was a shorter tee pad, and I think that's pretty clear yeah. by my tone. Yep. It averaged at 0.88 over par, 80% of the field with a bogey or worse. You're almost just kind of like adding this one to your scorecard before you start. Yeah, you're like, yep, yeah, probably a bogey. Like, I still believe I can get there, but it's like, yeah. The it, percentage, it's happen. just a low percentage shot. Yep. And it would be nice if it wasn't a, if it was like an optional drop zone too, because it would be cool if, you know, Haley could take it from where she hit the island, yep. that kind of thing. Rescue her par. Mm hmm. Another challenging finishing hole, hole 17 at 645 feet, but very technical with low hanging tree branches. Ideally, you want your drive to land to the right side, pushing that out of bounds line and really shortening your second shot. You throw over this out of bounds area. They really pinch this OB line right here, short of the green, and it is a little wonky right on the edge of the circle. So you got to make sure you come in a little hot or um, just well past the edge of the circle in order to have a birdie. Let's see Emily Weatherman play so we can understand the hole. This is my preferred line. You do have to get, I don't want to say lucky, but you have to keep it really low and dodge quite a few trees. But the advantage is you're very close to this OB line and you shorten the OB carry on the second shot. Emily going to go across here. She, that's probably nearly 300 feet to cross over maybe, maybe a little more. bit more actually yeah. 320 yeah where she where she landed her her little um sneaking through the trees route it really uh takes off some distance great shot here she is for a birdie to move to five down which is, would be a tie for the lead my, her game is blowing my mind she's she hits all the landing zones really perfectly I wonder if she knows. She's got to know, right? She's got to know. Lisa up first. I like this little shot lineup, keeping the hand dry. Yeah, keeping the thumb dry. There's nothing worse than a raindrop that gets right under your thumb. Uh, oh, no. Hit Lisa, it. Lisa not getting enough turn on this one. She's out of bounds left. R almost impossible to rescue a par from up there. That's why I like the right side play. Yeah, there was a right to left wind mm -hmm. here as well. Kind of right to left, kind of headish. This was another pretty slippery tee pad. Muddy, for sure. Yeah, I tried to go up the middle, the route that we see mm. Holland going for uh, as well today. And no it, chance. Yeah, not being able to drive through your foot. I think the right side play that Erica talks about, it was the only play today with conditions. To at least go for birdie, yeah. um, I would say reliably. Mm -hmm. Like you can still make the left side play work. It, 
It's just tough. I love that Haley's it's, going sidearm here. It's hard to even rescue a par from there. Yes. It's in, basically an instant bogey. Yeah, if you go OB left. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, really nice shot from Haley here. Um, I'm fortunate to be pinned up on that tree. Missy <laughs> with authority turning it over, unfortunately catching that tree, but then fortunately getting some forward momentum. Yeah. Cheeky really, little smile. Yeah, I've really committed to that shot and it paid off. Lisa not going to try to go for it here. You can see all those low hanging branches and it's every bit of 400 feet. Lisa Just, leaves that approach out a little short. Yeah, well, she might be flirting with the trees on the short side. Holland lining this up. Is she? Yeah. Yeah, right. she is. Uh, it's dangerous, but on the left side here, the OB wiggly line is definitely more generous. And what a shot. That's like the shot of the day. Yeah, that's unreal. Such a demanding line. And I mean, that's what she needs to do to stay in contention here. She's only one stroke back of the lead. Haley, oh my gosh, so close to the tree. So close. Catches a branch. <sighs> Go. Uh, Go. She's in. Is she she is in. Yes. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the sigh of relief. Oh man. Pressure on Missy now to get this inbound. She's definitely in a better position than both Holland and Haley, but still quite a ways to carry. This that looks great. great. Come on. Push. Oh, oh yeah. Comes in hot. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, she's gonna have some obstructions on the putting green. We'll see what she has to work with. If she got past the tree, it's fine. But if she's short of it or directly in line with it, it's really tough to access the basket. I think she might be a low ceiling putt. We'll see. Lisa's fourth with that out of bounds stroke. Weighs it up nicely. That's what most people are doing. Yeah, getting a par that's, I mean, a bogey that's really annoying. <laughs> really annoying. Yeah. Oh, man. Look at this rain really happening now. Kind of happening all day, but now... Just look at it. Super happening. Oh. Nice. He tries to give it a run here for a birdie. Haley with the opportunity to take the lead. <laughs> the sad gaddy yeah. cam. <laughs> Holland for a par save. Leaves it short. Oh, we love that she went for that though. Putting herself in position at least to save it. Haley once again in position to take the solo lead. She's not really been converting on these putts, but this one is close. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is huge right now. And she knows it. Look, she's hyped. Yeah, she's skipping. She's running. That's Haley. Hyped. She's looking at her go. <laughs> she's moving. She's shaking. One of only four birdies today. It played as the second most difficult hole of the day. And when she really needed it. Yeah, one stroke lead going into the final hole. It is birdieable, but lots of danger. Shouldn't get ahead of myself. I assume we're going to watch Emily play it. <laughs> <laughs> Holland and Lisa, unfortunately, taking the bogeys. Missy with the par. Six, five, four, three on the lead card. One hole to go. Haley checking score, seeing what the chase card's doing. She knows how tight the battle is at this point with one hole left to play. Yeah, look at Emily Weatherman in the tie for second with Missy Gannon. Man. <gasps> I'm nervous. Hole 18, it's a par 4, 575. Very tight OB line on the left. These trees on the right make it tough. You try to throw a turnover or flexing shot, maybe a sidearm. Uh, and get as far as you can here from that kind of final tree on the corner. It's maybe 300 feet, most of it over water here, rock wall surrounding the entire green. You have to come to rest safely on this essentially island green, or you have to take it from the short side. You do not get to progress even if you cross over the inbounds area. And we sure um, are going to watch Emily play this. Yeah, hole. we are. And that's really low and in danger. And oh, man. maybe out of bounds. 
Oh, oh my. The fact that we have to have this talk. This is like a, a nightmare. It's touching this blade of grass. Maybe benefit goes to the player situation. Oh man, they're really doing it. Oh, the fact that this call was. I feel like this is in my no. They gi they didn't give it to her. That is shocking to me because in this situation, I feel like a benefit should go to the player every time. I agree. That is really. That's, that's not our call. It's their call, and what a mean call. I agree. I mean, like we're, they're the ones looking at it, not us. So, but from the sorry, booth. from the booth, we get to make the judgments, and yeah. we can sound like we're nice. No, that's a that's a really tough call to make in in real time, and uh, very unfortunate. Here's Emily for a bogey. Oh, after such a strong showing, we hate to see her have to finish the round out with. A call and a bogey. I uh, yeah, heartbreaker. Such a good round still, and a such a great showing from, you know, a newer player. We'll we'll see her. We'll see her back. So maybe a little bit of breathing room for Haley. Just a little bit. She's got one stroke. A little bit of a. Calming breathing. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> a little lucky there. Yeah, and that's enough for her to be able to go across for birdie. Yeah. I was a little surprised not to see her go sidearm. Feel safer and she's got so much power. Yeah, it was also, this is one of the first places on the course that there was a pretty strong wind. It was a tailwind. Mm -hmm. You could definitely feel it. That makes it scary to try to work the... Turnover or flex. Missy leaves this one pretty low. Uh oh. That's going to be a tough decision. She can go across. It's just so risky. Yeah, she's right up on that tree. She may not even be able to swing her arm. Lisa, is she lining up the right side? Yeah, she threw that yesterday. Yeah, yeah, she did. Uh, no. Okay. It is okay. Not, not I don't, great. Yeah, I don't know if she can go for it from there. I think it's... She can. It's just, like again... Three fifty. Yeah. Downhill, though. That's a nice-looking line from Holland, as long as it gets under the branches. That's so good. Yeah, it is. She's <laughs> historically very good at this tee shot. Oh, yeah. In moments where she needs to, especially... Lisa looks like she's just lining up the layup. Smart play. Oh. 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 Dangerously close to out of bounds, but safe. Okay, Lisa, weird flex, but. that That's like my least favorite thing to <laughs> just absolutely pump a layup deep. But I think she's safe. Missy talking it over with her caddy. Is it worth it? Looks like it is. That's a thrasher in hand. Oh, man. Oh, wow. She's wild for that. I love this. I love this for her. She's in bounds, but far away. That was such an insane line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely makes the hole a lot easier to par. Yeah, pressure on Haley, so I think smart play. Haley, close here, probably only about 270. She doesn't need to birdie it to win. Yeah, but, but why not? Mm, there's no point to laying up, what, 40 feet? Exactly. That's a little oh, nose up. Uh, uh, oh my God. Haley. soft and nose up so she has to take it from the short side she gets to progress to the water's edge mm. but that's going to be a bogey at best missy just needs to lay up for par to push a playoff ball <laughs> and <laughs> barely over second time we've seen double hands on head yeah 
Lisa's third. It's crazy how this shot in practice, you're, it's just a breeze. It's so easy. It's so easy. And then you come out here and you're like, like oh. oh my gosh, this is the hardest thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your brain is going 100 miles an hour. Lisa leaving a little work left to do to save the par here. Haley going sidearm this time. How far do you think this shot is? Like 200? That 220? much? No, it's not that much. It's sh it's short. One one sixty one seventy. Yeah, sure. I I <laughs> I was like fifty feet short of the water and, and ranged it at like two twenty. So sounds math. like you know math. <laughs> I just like when you say it. I don't have a range finder because I'm a field player, so I have no idea. Yeah, like, I know it does it, feel like two hundred. Sure, it's a uh, overstable mid <laughs> forehand. Here's Missy long look for birdie. She's running it. Or, she, or she's laying up. It's a par. And that is most... That's that's inviting a playoff. Yeah, it is. Invitation is stamped and in the mail. Holland leaves that birdie bid short. Oh, Lisa, dang. Left side chains for the par bid. Great to see Lisa on the lead card in contention for the wind. Classic hat off Lisa wave. She always does this, and I love it. Uh-huh. Yeah, good to see Lisa on the lead card. Strong front nine. Just not quite putting it together on the back. Kind of similar from Holland here. They're going to tie at three down for the tournament. Haley going to take a bogey, and we're going to a playoff. Playoff, 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 playoff. Yeah. yeah. And Haley, the last time she won this event was in a playoff with Holland Hanley. <laughs> <laughs> We're not the only ones excited about the playoff. <laughs> Pretty crazy to have back-to-back -back playoffs. And not, I don't love this, but I believe the playoff loop is... 16, 17, 18. Yep. Which Starting we, at the island hole. We don't, we don't love that, but... I love it for a playoff. I don't love playing it, but I love watching it. <laughs> Uh, Emily Weatherman was such a solid showing. So sad to see her go out in that fashion, but let's... But solo third place. Yep. Congratulations. We are in a playoff. I uh, just want to explain this real quick. We're going to do an aggregate playoff, which means we'll play 16, 17, and 18 no matter what. Okay. And uh, whoever has the best score after those three holes will win. If there is a tie after those three holes, we'll go into a sudden death playoff and we'll flip again. Um, so so I, I should explain the way that the box will work is we'll flip a coin now and it'll be like regular play. So whoever mm -hmm. wins that hole will have the box. Yeah. If we go to a, a sudden death playoff, we'll flip again and it'll be alternate. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is heads. This is tails. Missy will be heads. Haley will be tails. Okay? Me. Heads. Okay. Good luck, y'all. I am surprised Me, that it too. is not a sudden death playoff we, immediately. We see a lot of sudden death playoffs. I think that's the most common choice by yeah. the tournament director. I mean, I kind of like it because it would kind of suck to end it on this one if uh, no one made it safe. <gasps> no oh way. Oh, my goodness. It sticks. We don't know yet. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, that puts su such a weird... <laughs> yeah, we, like, really need to know... <laughs> we, Haley needs to know if that's in. <laughs> that's, like, part of the advantage. Oh, man. Zero advantage. I think, Missy I think, keeping her guessing. Yeah, I think Haley would go for it regardless. You're right. But... Still weird not to know. It's so weird. What a... <sighs> I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because they're playing three holes, mm -hmm. which is so... I don't think I've ever experienced this. Not a sudden yeah, death it's, playoff. It's not not the most common. This looks great from Haley. Yeah, it does. 
Oh, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> and both players on the island during the playoff. That's how they got here, folks. What is Missy on it? Is she on it? I don't know. I think she is. It looked like she was. Oh, yeah. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. She's well on it. Yep. Probably just a nervous spotter. <laughs> I know. Missy using that cute little meter stick. What do you think? She's going she, for it, right? She, oh, obviously. She's got to go for it. Can't not. Scary one. Oh, Missy. my goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness that was in circle, too, because... <laughs> Otherwise, she would have missed it. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, I got a roast wow, her. Wow, that's huge. That is clutch. Making it on the island in general, but then having to make this putt as well. Circle two on the island is just a wild time. Oh, Left look. side. Oh, man. What a catch. <laughs> it, was, it was a good putt. Huge smile from Missy <laughs> there. Puts the pressure on Haley to make her putt, which is much closer, but still terrifying. <laughs> okay. Great putt. Wow, okay. They're both just going to birdie the island hole? I know no one did that today, barely. Sick. Yeah, these stats don't really count towards the other stats. <laughs> Moving on to hole 17. We just watched them play this during the round. Missy with a really great tee shot. Oh, man. Wow. Even better. Yeah, making the correction. She is way down there. Let's see if she's lined up to go across. You know both of them are attacking for birdie here. That's what the goal in mind. The wind really picked up. Haley threw this forehand so well, but catches a branch this time. She is out of position for the birdie. I, yeah, I, I would I be shocked if she goes for it. Yeah, she still has to make the mando. Yeah. Um. She's just laying up on the short side, playing for par, putting the pressure on Missy. I was scared for one second that she was going for it. <laughs> nice recovery shot from Haley. Is Missy going for it here? She's set up. I want to see her line. Yeah. Can we back up, please? Show us. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. That was a great drive. Yeah. She's got about 310, maybe 320. Oh, now you know distances. <laughs> Looking good. That's great. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh goodness. Beyond great. That is a tap in birdie. She's probably like bummed it's not sudden death now. Yeah, putting the pressure on Haley though right now to get something close. Ooh. Oh, that looks like it's just slipped right out of her hand. She's safe, but. She's safe. That's a long putt to make for par. I don't even want to commentate. I just want to watch. Yeah. Oh, she's a little obstructed here as well. Mm -hmm. oh, just she, a layup. Yeah, she's having to just take the bogey. That's a two-stroke swing on hole 17. Wow, really clutch from Missy. Both of those shots just absolutely perfect. And, I mean, there were so few birdies on this one. The fact that she just birdied 16 and 17, that's why she's big money Missy, folks. It's true. She's so good under pressure. It's like she thrives. Yeah, pretty amazing to watch. There is room for Haley to maybe make up strokes here if Missy messes up this hole, but like we just said, Missy kind of likes this situation she's in. <laughs> yeah, she does look really centered every time she's taking a breath on the tee pad. Going to be pinned up on that tree 
But, I mean, she can lay up and still win. Haley, trying to go huge here, and that is huge. Needs to check up. Oh, oh, it's out. And kind of just a formality almost at this point. I mean, Missy can lay up. She would have to mess up a lot of times in a row not to win this at this point. Dang. Haley far enough down there that she can rescue a par here, but yeah, it's it's kind of Missy's to lose. Yeah, she would have to miss this next shot, which is possible. Mm -hmm. Oh, woof, I do not like the painted lines. <laughs> Me neither. I mean, that one's at least clear. Mm -hmm. I think Emma's was much more, or Emily's, sorry, was mm -hmm. much more questionable. Haley from uh, about 220. Maybe a little farther. And she is good for it this time, just outside the bullseye to save par with a deep sigh. This isn't a gimme shot here for Missy. She doesn't even need to put it close necessarily. She just needs to get it across and safe. And that has plenty of power to get there. Oh yeah, mm. why not just park it? Oh yes, Missy. Just a quick birdie birdie par finish on some of the hardest holes on the entire course. Such a great showing from Haley this weekend. Just some putting struggles keeping her from another victory. Yeah, Missy gonna dethrone the king here and she's gonna be your dynamic this open champion. Congratulations, Missy Gannon. Missy, you said you've been coming to this tournament a long time, even during your AM days. Yeah. You just took down your first Dynamic Disc Open. How do you feel? It feels so amazing. Um, I've been looking to get one of these glass balls uh, for a long time. So, yeah, really cool to do it on the on the Pro Tour. And, um, yeah, I'm glad that I, glad that I came back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much to all of my friends and family. They always tune in and they're sending Tom text messages during the round and, you know, trying to keep me motivated. And, uh, you know, yeah, I love you guys. And thank you to my sponsors, Discraft, uh, Grip, Whale Sacks, and Ledgestone for having my back. We got another one. <laughs> Missy, congratulations. Back to you. We got another one is a great thing to say after winning. Yeah. I love that. I wish I could say that one day. <laughs> this is my first one ever. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be really funny when you do it. Yeah. We got another one. Yeah. Missy Gannon taking the win. Haley King in second. Emily Weatherman rounding out the podium. Holland Hanley going to tie Natalie Ryan for fourth place and Lisa Fakus as well. Five down was the hot round of the weekend. Emily Beat shooting it as well. And that's surprising. We usually do see some sevens, eights, and nines. Um, but that looks like that was enough to do it this weekend. It was some challenging conditions. We saw some putting struggles on these windy greens and Missy Gannon's going to walk away with it. Big congratulations. A lot cleaner rounds today in the calm conditions, but we get a two week break now. Yay. Do we? One week. One week. One week break. Oh, until I was OTB. like, what am I missing? Okay. <sighs> I'm wishing for a two week break. <laughs> but yeah, so now we have the big cross country move to the West Coast. We will will be in California when you next hang with us. Yeah, we'll miss you until then. <laughs> Migrating uh, to the Pacific Ocean. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're the two hockeys. Honk, honk. Congrats, Missy. <laughs>